While a few battles have been won, the war against COVID is not yet won. And we cannot rest on our laurels. Now more than ever, we are faced with yet another variant of this coronavirus. The Omicron variant that is said to carry a higher risk of infection. This variant may explain infection rate spikes that we are witnessing across the globe. I did pledge to the nation in June of this year that by Christmas we would have over 10 million adults vaccinated. As of today, we have achieved a target of 7.1 million Kenyans, up from 5 million as announced on Mashuja Day in October 2020. Mr. Speakers, to fortify our national resolve against COVID-19 and in honor of all those Kenyans that we have lost to the disease, I do urge today all Kenyan adults to visit their nearest medical facility to receive their COVID-19 vaccinations. The COVID-19 vaccines are in stock across our country and in all our counties, and already with a daily average rate of over 100,000 vaccinations, we have a much smaller target to meet within the next 25 days. I therefore once again call on all Kenyans to rally under the call of 25 days to Christmas to secure their vaccinations, to meet and surpass the target that we set ourselves. And I invite the media in all its various forums, forms to use their platforms to perform the social good and promote the vaccination campaign. This new variant's profile, as for now, remains unknown. It is therefore better to err on the side of caution. By receiving our vaccinations, we will have played our part in securing not only our own lives, but also in protecting the lives of those around us. Let us be responsible in this endeavor. That shot in the arm is the most powerful weapon against the disease that has ravaged the world. That shot in the arm of every adult Kenyan will also be a shot in the arm for our economy and our social institutions. It ensures that we can conquer, that if we can conquer and put this disease aside and fully return to normal, we can continue on our growth trajectory. No Kenyan should hold back from this perfectly safe and free way to protect yourself, your family, your neighbors, your colleagues, and the nation at large. Let us tear down this disease, ladies and gentlemen. 